of us do not have equal talents, but all of us have equal opportunities to develop our talents. By this beautiful thought of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, I, Neerada KP from Class 9B, along with the members of my classmates, are going to host today's morning assembly. Very Reverend Father Jilson Joseph Tile, Vice Principal Sebastian Sar, respected teachers, and all my dear friends, a warm and pleasant morning to each one of you. Today, January 11th of 2021, is the death anniversary of Sri Lal Bahadur Shastri, the second Prime Minister of Independent India. He actively participated in India's freedom struggle. He popularized the slogan, J Java, J Kisan. As our school begins with the prayer of the creator of this world, let's start with prayer for that supreme authority by joining our hands and closing our eyes. All the time, all the time He says I'm with you all the time He says I'm with you all the time I'm with you forever, I'm with you forever I'm with you forever all the time God Almighty looks on us with love All the time, all the time God on us with love all the time, all the time. A new day begins with new thought, new strength and endless possibilities. So to enlighten us and brighten our morning assembly, I would like to call Angeline and Abraham for thought for the day. that we are in charge of our own destiny. We will make mistakes and take the wrong route. But as long as these mistakes are temporary, we do not dwell on them. Every mistake we make should be seen as an opportunity, an opportunity to learn. We are in charge of our future and we can't do nothing about our past. Too often, we keep on thinking about our past and that's the worst thing we can ever do. All that we can do is to work on our present and ensure that our present looks more beautiful than our past. Work hard for what you want because it won't come to you without a fight. We have to be strong and courageous and know that we can do anything we put our minds to. If somebody puts you down or criticizes you, just keep on believing in yourself and turn it into something positive. We can't do nothing about our past but we can take lessons from the mistakes we have done so that we can rectify them and expect to have a better future ahead. Tomorrow is all ours and we know what we can control and what we can't. Take tomorrow as a new day, a new day to start, a new beginning. So my dear friends, let's take a leap of faith and begin this wondrous new year with a positive smile. Thank you. Now, I would like to request an idol of knowledge, experience and inspiration to all of us, I mean our principal, Father Jilson Joseph Tile, to fulfill our knowledge with his precious thoughts. We have opened the new year with the new spirit. Wish you all a very happy new year. The new year has come with good news. The COVID vaccine is having positive results in many countries. And India also has started the process for vaccination. We hope things will come right and there will be a new morning for us to come to school. Already class 10 and class 12 students have started coming to school and their regular classes and preparation for examination have already started. I am happy 
that they got an opportunity to study in regular class in the school. We are planning regarding the students of other classes too. That means at least one day the students of the lower classes can come to school and they can show their workbooks and notebooks to the teachers and teachers will check their results and will give feedbacks. From 18 January onwards, I will be allotting days for each class and students can come with their parents and meet their teachers and evaluate their study. That will be a good, good opportunity for the students to visit their school. Even the lower classes, maybe in smaller groups or individually can come on the assigned days and visit the teachers. I will inform you regarding the allotment of days for each class. As I had informed earlier, you will be getting the results of post midterm assessment by 17th of January. As I had informed you, the art integration project and the class test which took place after the midterm examination will be considered for the post midterm examination or assessment. On the basis of that, you will get the result of post midterm assessment by 17th of January. In order to get the result of post midterm examination, you see, it is mandatory that students complete their first and second semester fees. So please make the payment of first and second semester fees on or before 16th January. So those who are having the due or those who have not taken permission or exemption will not be getting the result of post midterm examination. So wish you all a very happy new year. Do your studies well. Do the works well. Be always good students. Thank you very much. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, fly to imagination and life to everything. So to give wings to our mind, here comes Jacinda with her melodious voice. India has seen a dream of digital India. From latest science to latest technology, everything should be available at the tip of one's finger. Now, I would like to invite Miyoshin TJN to express his views on the topic Advantages and Disadvantages of Digitalization. Good morning to everyone. My name is Mushin Tijan and I am from class 9B. Today I am going to say a few words on the topic advantages and disadvantages of digitalization. This new era can be daunting and worrisome for some, especially the older generation, who often disapprove the new way of doing things. But how beneficial really are these digital developments? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of digitalization? Some advantages of digitalization are the digital era brings all kinds of information on our very fingertips. Digitalization has transformed our way of communication with numerous apps, 
This helps us to send messages to other people immediately. We are also able to communicate new ideas with each other thanks to digitalization. Some of the disadvantages of digitalization are the ease of communication can have a negative impact on our real life, social skills and weaken the strength of the community. Easy access to information increases the chance of its misuse. For example, incorrect self-diagnosis of health and allows the spread of false information which can be used for manipulative purposes. Shallow nature of digital exchange would create more passive society which is unable to consider ideas on a deeper level. These are some disadvantages of digitalization. Thank you. Let us read, let us dance. These two amusements will never do any harm to the world. Now let me invite Arya Mohan to perform a dance. your life on your dreams because dreams never have bad endings by this court we are dispersing today's morning assembly thank you for joining with us